Hello and here's another update on my plasma table build. Today I got in the shop and uh, was able to put together my um, magnetic breakaway torch holder. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of a overview of this. Um, had some three quarter inch aluminum, 6061 aluminum sitting in the shop. Uh, so I cut this out to a profile and uh, brought it down so I could get some flexibility in here and uh, slid it, drilled and tapped, quarter inch 20 holes and then I got uh, some, uh, some half inch aluminum and uh, drilled from behind, countersunk and I'll show you that in a second um, quarter inch uh, 20 uh, locating uh, studs basically uh, they go through to the other side have little holes drilled here just uh, to locate uh, the the, uh, the torch holder to the carrier uh, so I don't have to play around trying to find uh, getting it plumb and, and level every time it, it pops off there so I have a piece of 10 gauge that I that I drilled and mounted to the Z and uh, machine my two pieces of uh, three-quarter inch this morning and I'll show you just pretty much does what it's supposed to do pops right off there and on the back I drilled and countersunk for six magnets these are half inch diameter by eighth inch thick uh, rare earth magnums uh, magnets uh, neo neo bedenum or however the hell you say that uh, drilled for six Right now I have four glued in there. Uh, I may not do any more because it seems to be working really, really good. Um, if anything, I may just put one additional in there. Um, maybe drill another countersunk. But right now it seems to be working really good. Here you can see my locating uh, dowels coming through. And then um, drilled and countersunk to mount the actual torch holder. And then on the on the mounting plate you could see the two holes that I drilled for for uh, the locating pins so basically just snap it right on there and lined up ready to go uh, I still have to uh, work on my little jib mount for uh, for my uh, torch cable but uh, just to throw up a piece of inch and a half square eighth inch wall tube here and uh, put that behind a little stop there just to simulate a, an obstruction for the uh, for the torch now when this isn't clamped down this will actually push this out of the way so if it's a if it's a little piece that popped up and it gets in the way and it can be pushed out of the way uh, and I and I missed it. it it'll work just fine uh, but if it pops up out of the way and uh, and gets stuck uh, well, let's see what happens here I'll set this up and we'll give it a run So there you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of force no damage to the uh, to the torch at all and uh, you know on the uh, on the the website for the magnets uh, they have listed the amount of force that it takes to pull off so I did I just kind of took a stab at it and uh, and they seems to work really well uh, I think it's a good balance of of uh, the force of keeping the torch mounted uh, versus uh, the force that it takes to uh, to get the torch to break away so uh, I'm really happy with it so far and <clears throat> we'll do some more testing this weekend I got my uh, preservative in for the for the water table you can see this is uh, what 
eight or nine days now and you can see it's kind of rusty and uh, yesterday the welding supply company called me and this is a Dynaflux plasma water treatment and uh, made specifically for uh, plasma tables. This is made by Miller, uh, Miller Welding, Miller Electrical actually, a uh, different division and uh, available through most uh, most welding supplies. A little bit easier to get on the east coast than out here on the other coast. So anyway, that's a little overview of my breakaway torch. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get, I'll get the uh, the rest of the little bit of wiring taken care of and I'll be working on my slat system say an inch and a half that's gonna get notched out for my uh, for my slats so hopefully by tomorrow afternoon sump will be cleaned out treatment will be put in slats will be in and then it's on to motor tuning and uh, hopefully by Sunday afternoon get some sparks flying so thanks for checking it out and uh, have a good weekend.